Good morning. Have you ever carried burdens? Have you ever felt stress? <laughs> if you're human and alive, I'm betting you have. We'll talk about that in just a second. You know, I'm a pretty happy Go lucky guy. I don't worry a whole lot about a lot of things, but there are things that I do worry about, and I carry them around with me, like luggage or like rocks in a backpack. Sometimes we just find ourselves carrying a burden, and it just eating at us and bothering us. Sometimes it's my worry for a friend who's ill. Sometimes it's family members who don't know how to behave or who have made bad decisions and are behaving improperly. Sometimes it's friends that I can see making bad decisions and I'm like, stop, stop, stop before this gets worse. And they don't listen. Sometimes it's myself when I look in the mirror and I see, Tom, what are you doing? Why are you thinking this way? Why are you behaving this way? You need to stop. You need to do better. Have you ever planned to do better and then not? Have you ever set out to do what was right and ended up doing what was wrong? Hmm. You might be human if you have. The thing about that is, is we all have our burdens that we have to carry and we all have our struggles that we have to face. But the good thing about being a Christian is no matter how rough it gets or how difficult it gets, you don't have to do it alone. You can always call upon the Lord of the universe to be with you and to help you. You know, the thing about God that just fascinates me is I don't understand it. Because, you know, when people are just horrible and do horrible things and you get to a point in your life where you're like, I'm just done. It's like, you know, I forgive you and all of that, but I just don't want anything more to do with you. You know, fortunately, you know, God tells us, Christ told us to forgive over and over. But we're not really coerced to hang out with people that bring us down, that do things that are maybe destructive or bad, you know, and that's, that's fortunate, but we are called to love and we're called to forgive. Have you ever just said, you know, I'm going to forgive this person and move on. But at the same time, you're like, well, I just as soon not do anything with them or be around them. I understand that feeling. It's hard. The thing about God, though, that always shocks me, and, and I think we should probably try to emulate, is, you know, when we do things that are just terrible and awful, and we absolutely deserve to be forgotten and cast away by God, He doesn't do it. He waits like an anxious father, and if we approach Him, He runs to us, and He forgives us, and He brings us back into the fold. That's something I find hard to understand, but I'm awful, awful thankful for. I'm so thankful that he sees my failures and he sees my faults, and he still runs to me when I ask him to forgive me. You know, uh, I think his last name's Wallen, has a country song that says, If I was him, I would say the hell with you. There ain't no help in you. I'd find someone else to give heaven to. I'm telling you. I'd shame me. I'd blame me. I'd make me pay for my mistakes. But I don't think Jesus does it that way. It's a famous song with some very famous lines. And it's very powerful. Because it's very true. Because that's how God operates. If we come to him with an open heart... If we come to him with a sincere longing to restore our relationship, if we repent of our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's great news. Have a great day, folks. Be kind to each other. See you next time.